Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is my beginner's guide to creating your own sounds on the Roland Axe Edge. Turn on your Axe Edge. Press the menu right button. Press the right arrow button about five times until the bottom line of the LCD display says System. Then press the Enter button. Press the right arrow button about seven times until the bottom line of the LCD display says Bluetooth, then press the plus button. Now press the exit button twice to exit the system menu. Open the Axe Edge Editor app on your phone or tablet. At the top right of the screen, tap Setup. Near the top of the screen, tap BT Devices. If the Bluetooth on your phone or tablet is not on, tap Allow on the pop-up message that appears. At the bottom of the screen, tap Scan. At the top left of the screen, tap Axe Edge. A star will appear after the word Axe Edge and the Bluetooth icon on the Axe Edge LCD display will change to confirm the Axe Edge is connected to the Editor app. Tap the back icon on your device. If Axe Edge is not selected in the Input and Output drop-down lists, tap on the Input drop-down list and select the Axe Edge. At the top left of the screen, tap on the Librarian tab. Tap on 001 init program. Then tap edit. The program will now temporarily replace the current Axe Edge program. Near the top of the screen, tap on the switch tab. Tap on the word on below part 2, 3 and 4 in the keyboard switch section of the screen so the word on changes to off. Near the top of the screen tap on the part tab. Tap on part 1 in the select section. In the tone section tap edit. Tap on the box to the right of the word Category. Scroll through the drop-down list with your finger and tap on a category for your new sound. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on the box to the right of Mono Poly. If you can't see Mono Poly, scroll down the list on the screen until you see Mono Poly. In the pop-up menu, tap on Mono if you want only one note to play at a time, or tap on Poly if you want to be able to press more than one key at a time, for instance, if you want to play chords. Near the top of the screen, tap on the Switch tab. Tap on the word On below Partial 2 and 3 in the Partial Switch section of the screen so the word on changes to off. Near the top of the screen, tap on the MFX tab. Tap on the box to the right of the word type. Scroll to the top of the list and tap on through. This will turn off the multi effects while we create a new tone. Near the top of the screen, tap the right arrow. Near the top of the screen, tap the keyboard tab. The bar to the right of the words Velocity Range Upper is set to 79 by default. This means the sound will only play when you press the keys not hard enough to generate more velocity pressure than 79. So tap the blue bar to the right of the words Velocity Range Upper. 
and on the pop-up slider, drag your finger all the way to the right. So it now has the number 127 instead of 79. Now the sound will play no matter how hard you press the keys. Near the top of the screen, tap the OSC tab. Tap the box to the right of the words OSC type. And in the pop-up list, select an oscillator type. For this demo, tap on PCM. Next, tap on the box to the right of the words wave group. In the pop-up list, select a wave group. Each group has a different selection of tones to choose from. For this demo, tap on Int B. Now tap on the box to the right of the words Wave Number L. Scroll through the list and select a tone. After you tap on a tone, you can play the tone on the axe edge to hear what each tone sounds like. For this demo, tap on 256 Violin Vib. If you want, you can add a second tone from the same wave group by tapping the box to the right of the words Wave Number R and selecting a tone from the list. Near the top of the screen, tap the left arrow. Near the top of the screen, tap on the MFX tab. Tap on the box to the right of the word Type. Scroll through the list and select a multi-effex. After you select a multi-effex, you can press the keys on the axe edge to hear the effect. For this demo, tap on MS Delay. At the top of the screen, tap on the tone name. Type a new name in the pop-up box and then tap OK. To save the partial, at the top of the screen, tap on Write. Scroll through the list of user tone save slots and tap on any slot that's called Init Tone. Then tap on Write. At the top left of the screen, tap on Done. Near the top of the screen, Tap on the program name. Type in a name for your new program and tap OK. At this point, the new program is only temporarily on your axe edge. If you change the sound program on your axe edge, or you turn the axe edge off, the new sound program will be deleted. So to save this sound program to your axe edge, near the top of the screen, tap on Write. Scroll through the list and tap on a program slot on your axe edge. Note that the slots 001 to 032 are bank 0 on the axe edge, which is the axe lead section. Slots 101 to 132 are bank 1. Slots 201 to 232 are bank 2, and so on. A warning here though, the sound program in the program slot you tap on will be deleted if you proceed any further. So if you're happy to delete the sound program in the program slot you have tapped and ready to save the new sound program in its place, tap on Write. Now when you turn your axe edge on in future, you just need to select that same program slot to select the new sound. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.